Moses and Aaron performed various wonders in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord made Pharaoh abstain, and he would not let the children of Israel leave his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon in the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in the procuring one, and shall share in the lamb, in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. It shall not be eaten raw or boiled, but roasted whole, with its head and shanks and inner organs. None of it must be kept beyond the next morning. Whatever is left over in the morning shall be burned up. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins grit, Sandals on your feet and your staff in hand, you shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both men and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate, with pilgrimage to the Lord, as a perpetual institution. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 1 to 8. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick on the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions but only the priests could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here, if you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned these innocent men, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, law was given to Israelites through Moses by the good Lord at the foot of Mount Sinai. And the law was given to Israelites since God loved them very much. And giving law to Israelites 
is a sign of God's love and mercy. It was out of love and mercy God gave law to Israelites. Because, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Israelites were not a civilized people. They were not civilized nation when they received law. That is why, while giving law, good Lord said to them very clearly, if you abide by these laws, the other people who see you following these laws, they will say that you are a wise nation. Therefore, God gave them law in order to make them a civilized nation as well as to make them wise people. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, since God gave them law out of mercy and love, the law should be enforced while keeping in mind the aspect of love and mercy. We must never forget the aspect of love and mercy while enforcing the law. But unfortunately, dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the guardians of the Mosaic law and the Ten Commandments, Pharisees, Sadducees and the teachers of the law, they enforce the law by forgetting this aspect of love and mercy. And that is what we see in today's gospel. Jesus and his 12 disciples, they were walking through a wheat field and they were hungry. Therefore, they plucked some heads of wheat and they ate them. The brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, these Pharisees, they forgot the fact that Jesus and 12 disciples, they ate heads of these wheat since they were hungry and they forgot the aspect of love and mercy while enforcing the law. And my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the good Lord, he healed so many sick people on the Sabbath day. Sometimes Jesus healed sick people who were sick for so many years, for so many long years. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, instead of being joyful and becoming happy, seeing how these people were recovered from their sicknesses, the Pharisees as well as the Sadducees, they were thinking about the violation of the Sabbath law. In the other words, they forgot the aspect of love and mercy while enforcing the law. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel, Jesus reminds us that while enforcing the law, we must never forget the aspect of love and mercy. Since the law was given out of love and mercy, we cannot forget the aspect of love and mercy. And that is why Jesus says, I want mercy, not the sacrifice. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, at times we too enforce the law by forgetting this aspect of love and mercy. A mother, she may get late for the Holy Mass since she has to look after so many little children and since she has a sick child at her home, in her home. And sometimes we pass harsh judgments on her, telling her that she must, she must attend the Holy Mass from the beginning up to the end. But we forget this aspect of love and mercy. We must look at her mercifully. And we must be happy that at least she fulfills and she tries to fulfill the Sunday obligation. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, while enforcing the law, while abiding by law, let us never forget the aspect of love and mercy because the good law says, I want mercy, not the sacrifice. Amen.